So guys, Kurepa.com here. So today we're gonna be doing a full customization to that beautiful Vespa Primavera 2019 in that beautiful matte blue. Let's get into it. Got all the parts here laid down in the ground so you can see all the stuff we're gonna be installing in this bike. We got from the wheels to the soft wrap, brake line, floor rack, RPM meter, headlight rim, key covers and key chains. That's the shock racer, front four covers, fan covers, we got the carbon fiber engine cover, the CNC footrest, the wheel cap, back hood for the seat, we got the tail light, all the badges. So we're gonna choose from all these options as well as the, the valve caps. We got fuel cap, key rings, plate enlargement, we got the rubber pieces for the fuel tank to the brake levers the protector for the handlebar more keychains front four covers too we got also the black version of the emblems a sprint for the exhaust these sticks nice selection of grips bar and mirror we got the exhaust carbon fiber cover the cvt carbon fiber cover we got this beautiful brx dual exhaust seat covers we got the glow box compartment organizer cover too and the beautiful carbon fiber fender look at that beautiful thing that thing is just amazing with the air inlets and everything this bike is gonna be really amazing so let's get started
today we're gonna be installing this beautiful Dua BRX Reformant exhaust into our Primavera. So this exhaust actually is pretty nice. I really like this thing. Look how beautiful that thing is. It got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy. It's got some weight, but it's not like crazy heavy like the stock one. I really like the dual piping. That thing looks pretty, pretty amazing. It's gonna look really amazing on this bike with this color and of course in the box you're gonna get all the tools and all the hardware needed it comes with the with the spring tool and everything the, the, the middle pin pipe bracket and all the spring necessary for the installation so let's proceed and get started and let me show you the tools you're gonna need to do this job so here are the tools you're gonna need all you're gonna need is a six millimeter allen key a 10 millimeter socket with an extension it's always helpful to have to remove the the pipe in the head sometimes it's getting pretty difficult so it's always helpful to have an extension the corresponding wrench a torx driver t25 so we can remove the connector for the oil sensor and an adjustable wrench and of course a torque wrench is always recommended to have for these kind of jobs so let's proceed and get started <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna proceed and wrap our middle pipe link. We already installed the sensor, we put some NTC so it doesn't get stuck again. So we're gonna be installing one of those high performance titanium wraps. We got different colors to choose from. We got the titanium, this is the one that I like more. But we also have them in black, beige, white, and also in different sizes and width. I'm gonna be using this small one into this little pipe because this is a small pipe. And I'm gonna be wrapping from this part right here, from this end, all around until that point into this little edge right here where we're gonna put one of our zip ties that come included with the wrap so we're gonna proceed and start wrapping this into a pipe since this is not a fiberglass you don't need to wet this roll to work on it you can do it if you want to to make things more clean and if you're allergic to that little you know fabric those little debris that or you can use some cloth to protect your hands and you know it doesn't get into your skin because this thing working with this thing is pretty pretty you know a pain in the butt so i'm gonna proceed and put some gloss on it and we're gonna proceed and start wrapping that place up.
shot. See how it sounds. Pretty excited about this one. Haven't tried this pipe. Looks pretty nice. We're pretty much ready to go. Within the first rush, you're gonna experience a lot of smoke like I'm experiencing right now. That's because it's just burning all the residues, mostly from the exhaust wrap and also from the from the exhaust in the inside, all the fiberglass and all the debris and residues from the factory that are gonna be burning off and it's gonna be producing a lot of smoke just within the first rise. So that's completely normal. Don't worry about it and just let everything burn and ride it as much as you can within the first rise and then just come back and retorque all the bolts and check everything is nice and connected and you should be good to go. Here are the tools you're gonna need. All you're gonna need is basically a 30 millimeter wrench, a 30 millimeter socket when a station, always helpful to have, a corresponding wrench for the socket, a 17 millimeter wrench, and a six millimeter Allen key. And of course, your piece ready to install. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna remove your shock from the actual mounting piece. So you wanna grab your 30 millimeter socket and your 17 millimeter wrench. There is a knot here in the back. You wanna go ahead and place that in there. That's gonna happen, you don't worry about it. Then it's gonna tend to fold like that. Just be careful, you don't wanna drop your scooter. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna remove this piece from there. You're gonna grab your six millimeter Allen key and there's actually a 30 millimeter knot here in the back that you also wanna wrap with your wrench and proceed to remove that. Then you can proceed and remove the old piece from there. And then you wanna grab your new piece, beautiful thing. And you can see how one side is completely flat and the other one is not, got these rounded parts there. So you wanna line it up with the flat surface facing out. You can see, you line everything up. And that's how it should go. On the bottom, you're gonna have three fasteners with the same specification. You got some nice locking knot, 6 mm Allen key, and 30 mm knot. So you wanna proceed and remove the knots from there for the three fasteners. You wanna have the three screws ready in hand. You wanna grab your piece and you wanna slide the first screw here. And you can grab your next piece and face this rounder part inside the same way but in the opposite direction. Okay, so once you have installed your piece, you're more than ready to install your shock. This is actually pretty cool because you got two slots where you can decide to put your shock. You can go like really low there, or you can go a little bit on the top. And 
and that's it. That's how you easy install this beautiful shock lower or racer. I'll serve lower because it lowers the scooter. And that's it, pretty much ready to go. So here are the tools you're gonna need. All you're gonna need is a couple of torques, a T25, a four millimeter Allen key, and a Phillips screwdriver. And of course, your piece ready to install. So let's get into it. So on the box, all you're gonna get is the actual piece with all the hardware included. It comes with the screws that you're gonna need for the installation, which are the same as the one we have here, but this one are slightly longer, so we can hold our piece firmly into the scooter. So, and of course, it comes way well packaged, beautiful CNC machine made foot right with this amazing system they work pretty nice and they're pretty well done so we're gonna be installing these babies into the primavera they also work for the sprint pretty nice looking footrest of course we have them in different colors you can check them out at scooterbelt.com so let's proceed and install these babies in and remove this ugly plastic uncomfortable footrest of this scooter so let's get into it <laughs>
well, that was part one of this amazing transformation for that beautiful Vespa Primavera 2019. So stay tuned for the next episode. Still have a few accessories to install on that Vespa to make it nice and unique. So stay tuned on the channel. Make sure you click that like button, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. See you in the next one. Thank you. Peace.